Everybody, this is Ronnie Gabu, and by request, I'm going to show off the MCMMO fishing grinder that I made in my last video. Just a, a quick tutorial. I'm here in my creative world, and I already have one of these set up. So basically, all it is is a sticky piston that pushes this block there quickly based on this timer. And this is just a simple ethos timer. It's just two hoppers pointed at each other with several stacks of item inside. It doesn't matter what items, you could put a variation of different items, but um, maybe about four stacks or even if you fill it, it'll still be a very very effective amount of time. The more items you put in these hoppers, you put in one of these hoppers, the longer that this will take to reset. And that's just fine because it takes a long time for durability to run up while you're fishing. So right over here I have a little area set up so that we can build one so we have hot signs holding back the water right here and right here we'll just break out two spaces one is going to be for the iron block which is the MCMMO anvil the other is going to be a sticky piston facing that way we'll have a redstone block and connected to this we'll have two sticky pistons so that there's one little space here. Next we have hoppers. The first hopper, it doesn't matter how you place it, but the hopper has to be facing each other. So I'm gonna hold shift and right click and that this hopper is now facing that hopper, but this hopper right here is facing down. So what I have to do is I have to break that hopper, hold shift, aim to the side, and now they're pointed at each other. It doesn't matter when you put the items in. I, I guess I could just put a couple in now. But next we need a comparator on each side, then we need a block on each side. I'll just use lapis just to, to show that it, it can be any block, really. We need one piece of redstone, and now this timer will start to go back and forth. Next, I'm going to take redstone and run it right up here to a torch on this block. and then underneath that torch I'm gonna to run redstone to the side of this piston. It could run underneath and that would work just fine too. It just has to be on one of these blocks next to that piston so that the piston is affected by it. So I'll just stick it like that. We are going to pull it back with this repeater. And we're gonna put a double repeater delay on this right here, each set to four ticks, and then a redstone on top. So this redstone block will turn off this torch, which keeps this back most of the time. Then, every once in a while, when this redstone block gets switched over to this side, these two repeater delay will be the only time that that block is extended. So, the torch will turn off for just a couple seconds, and then it'll get turned back on and suck that piston back in. So, I'm going to take some items out of the hopper so we can show you. There should be just a couple. It's going to keep moving back and forth pretty quickly. So every time that the redstone is in this position, that block will move out and move back in for just this duration. Just like that. And that's really all there is to it. If you want, you can put a water block here. And a water block here will allow this water source block to regenerate as an infinite water source so that uh, the block doesn't mess it up. 
But that's it. That's the whole system. Uh, you can change just by putting more items in the hoppers. Pretty simple. Uh, oh, also, this redstone right here is pretty, pretty important. These repeaters will activate this block, and when this block is activated, it'll activate this redstone. That redstone is necessary in order to transfer that signal to this block right here, which has the torch on it. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching! Please like the video if you found it useful, and subscribe for my upcoming Let's Play Factions PvP Season 2.